In this tutorial, we will review how to create references that give relational structure to your data. Reference columns tell Grist that two separate tables are related and specifies which records within those tables are related. Let's jump right in. In this document, we are tracking our job applications to various companies. We have a table of job applications, milestones, such as having sent in our application or interviewed with someone at the company, a table of tasks, and contacts at the companies to which we have applied. In the milestones table, we want to relate each milestone to a particular role. We already have a column called role. Let's see what happens when we convert a column that has data in it into a reference column. In the creator panel, in the column menu, change the column type to reference. Because there is already data in the column, Grist will make its best guess at the underlying table you are trying to reference and match the column's data to the correct field in the underlying table. You can review and edit this guess. Data from table points to the underlying table. As you can see, the other tables are all available in the drop-down menu. Show column sets the display value in the reference column. Here, we can see all of the fields that are in the job applications table. We're selecting which one we would like to display, which in this case is role. This is a key concept in references. The reference column is referencing the entire record in the other table. The show column configuration lets you choose which field to display. In other words, the value in this cell is not head of digital design. It's actually the entire record that is being referenced. This distinction matters when using reference columns in formulas. We explain one key reference formula in the next video. Now let's look at an example in which we do not already have a column with data. In the contacts table, we have a list of contacts that are not associated with any job application or company. Let's create a new column called company, set its type to reference, point to job applications, and set the display to company. Clicking on an empty cell, we'll now open a drop-down menu of all of the possible companies. Let's quickly relate each contact to their company. By the way, if you write in a new value not on the list, you may add a new record to the underlying table. For example, we just added Grist. Let's see what happened in the job applications table. There's Grist. In the next video, we will review how to look up additional data using reference columns.